That's in. Uh, out. Pause it. And then come on. I have a name. I can't work it first. And where's the blue one? Even the What's the blue one? Yeah. Yeah, but then. Doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. Yippee! Oh my god! Yeah, this is like not really that. It's very slow. Try to make it not touch a donut. Like what? <laughs> what? You touched it and now you own it. Ain't no way. Why does it? <laughs> no, it makes sense. You know what, Joel? Let's touch a donut. Let's go. That's. Yay! Yay! Let it drop because you need to contact. You can't. You have to be off the ground before you do the second contact path. Yeah, so off the ground. And then you drop off the hook. Yeah. And then you winch up. That's actually... That would yep. be yeah. Hello, so we're at... I guess this is our progress from the first 10 hours of the Robot in 30 hours. Um, we have our prototype intake on the front here, mounted to our arm uh, that extends. And then we have our climber on the front here, which is winch powered by the bottom down here. And everything is broken in brakes. In brake mode. So... I'll be talking about our intake. So intake here is a uh, Rolly, Rolly Grubber intake powered by an Axon servo. We have a uh, adjustable flap down here that we are at the moment manually adjusting to find the right spot. And we have our three little wheels on the front here. We are grabbing the, what's it called? Sample. Not specimen. Sample. sample, yep. We're grabbing the sample by this little ridge here instead of grabbing it by the sides or something like that. So we will spin the intake. It, the robot will drive up to it, grab the sample, and then that core flute tab under here is holding it in place. We have the wheels holding it in place on top, and then when we want to score, we just outtake and it'll be dumped straight into the into the high basket. Um, for this year, this game piece is made of a hard material, and so our intake is going to have to be slightly compliant. We have that in the rubber coating on the tires, so that's got a little bit of squish to it, and our core flute flap is quite flexible. So if I bend this down out of position, you can see that we can bend this, and it kind of acts like a spring and helps put pressure to hold it in place. Um, we were inspired to use this method by, uh, in FRC in 2018, there was a power cube which was a milk crate with a, um, with a, like, fabric cover on it. Some teams would use a rolly grabber to basically grab the lip of the fabric and suck the fabric in and hold the whole cube by the fabric. And then a similar thing happened in FRC in 2023 with some inflatable cubes. People would just have rolly grabbers that grab the edge of the cube. And so we thought... Well, let's, let's give it a shot. Um, it was the first thing we tried like 30 minutes in uh, and yeah, it, it worked really well. So we continued with it and now we have our adjustable prototype here. Um, once we find the correct angle of this core flute and the correct spacing, we will then uh, cut up a 3D printed part where we will then print it, assemble it. And so that'll be a lot uh, lighter and hopefully we will have a working version on the first go, but we'll see.